Hello and welcome back. This time we are going to talk about another possibility on how to display control requirements. Yeah? We're talking about GraphSet. Yeah? GraphSet, it's an acronym. It's from, from the French wording. Ah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Graph Functionnel de Commande Etape Transition. <laughs> so actually this means it's a functional graph uh, for stepwise commands and transitions between those. Uh, and it, it is replacing the, the older function plan. Uh, maybe you hear also function plan. It's pretty much the same like graph set. Graph set is the newer variant of it. Okay. So what is a graph set and how does it look like? A graph set is a graph. Uh, and there are steps and on each step the steps are in a sequence uh, there are also possibilities of doing choices and so on but we just want to see the basic features okay. usually the steps have numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They might go to somewhere else or they might come from somewhere else. Okay? The start step or initial step is usually marked with a double, double line, yeah. double frame. Between the steps there are so-called transitions which are marked with this. Mm -hmm. So there are transitions. Each and every step can have, not must have, a command next to it. Yeah. So, for instance, here. Yeah. There's a command. Yeah. What was the first command in our sequence? This was uh, start, start, belt drive. Okay, so close, close the conductor of the belt drive. Transition would then be belt full speed. Usually there are variable names, yeah? they are following some rules, so there must be a switch or something like this, a signal, and this is mentioned here. Yeah? There also might be Boolean combinations of two or three signals, these are the transitions. Yeah? And here the first transition is start, start command. Yeah? Zero, and I can also give uh, comments. Yeah, so here this is stand still. A comment is marked with quotes. Okay. Comment on step number one is start build. Okay. If the start command is coming, this transition is fulfilled. First step. Yeah. Start build drive output. Start belt drive, then the belt, and then the next transition is belt at full speed. So, step number two would be open flap. Okay. Command. Output to flap. Contactor. Okay. Transition, flap open. Step number three is operation. And here we have already a step. There is no command. There is no command. So these are empty steps. There, but there's a transition to the next step. This is no start command. Then the first thing 
command flip contact off okay close flap is the name the command of this step and the fifth step then here flap closed transition yeah. last step belt contactor off belt stopped then we are in standstill okay here stop belt so this would be the same thing which we have done in the last things yeah? functional graph you remember hopefully in the last video this would be the thing in, in graph set you see it's a more textual way of describing it and it's pretty suitable for those sequence controls yeah where we switch from one state to the other yeah? pretty useful there are different different operations here possible so there are uh, you know continuous commands impulse commands and so on they all have a little bit different symbols and so on like I said usually there is not named this with a name yeah there is a variable name inside there is some signal yeah? because signals do have a name in there is a naming naming a rule also for for uh, control systems yeah? and certain signals do have certain names and they fit perfectly together yeah? also the steps here have names they are usually marked with x x0 x1 x2 and so on yeah? but you see we can simply read it yeah? we can read it quite simple yeah? so it's also a good way to represent this May, and maybe not that graphic like uh, the function plan more textual description okay there are editors out there for such things you can use them yeah? then it's pretty fast it's not then you do not need to draw this okay? yeah that's graph set I already mentioned something. I already mentioned uh, sequence control. Uh, we're going to develop in the next video some controls, uh, starting with a simple one, and in the end we end up at a sequence control. Uh, see when we have to use what and so on uh, to get a little bit more practice in this. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.